Hey, how's it going everyone? Brad Smith here again with Automation Links. I've actually taken a break, which is not like me. Um, we've been moving. Uh, we've been uh, moving from one side of the city to the other. And you know how stressful moving can be, so bear with me. I'm back. I'm going to be helping you guys out, giving you all the tips I possibly can. And I'm just going to start from the very beginning. Relationship first mentality. Now, when I was running my fitness and nutrition business here in St. Pete, it was all about face-to-face -face interactions, creating relationships with people face-to-face. Uh, -face. That's probably what you're doing right now. But when it comes to the online business, we all think about it differently. We think about online as for sales only, when actually it's the exact same thing as you would do face-to-face -face with somebody. So when somebody walks into your business, you shake their hand, you introduce yourself, you create an instant relationship. If you're out and about in public, you're meeting people, telling them about your business, asking what their goals are and helping them, right? So when you come to your Facebook, Instagram, or your website, you're making it all about sales. It has nothing to do with the relationship that you would build face to face. So I want you to change your mentality because relationships are important and you can actually have better relationships with people online. And if you haven't noticed, when you post something, right? People like it when it has to do with your family, when it has to do with something that is a success story from one of your clients or um, anything about something that you're just talking about that's real, that's a relationship uh, with that person. They feel closer to it. You can get more likes, more people to follow you, and more connections. Uh, think about my church. So I follow and I watch church on Sundays on YouTube, and my pastor is getting 400, 500, 600,000 views live on YouTube during his sermon and when it comes to the church you can only fit a certain number of people in there now face to face in the church you're building relationships connecting with people which is the best thing right but also when it comes to online you can get 500 600 000 people watching which is going to be huge for your business so while also creating that relationship so i really want to help you guys out with this i didn't learn it right away so i'm going to help you so you can learn it and it can really work for your business post success stories number one it's all about your clients. Post when they are successful. Make it all about them. Your customers are number one priority. So make it interesting. Post uh, success stories about them, testimonials. Talk about how great they're doing. Uh, show your, your groups, groups of people in your business, however you can, events. Make it all about uh, your clients. Tag them and their friends and family are going to see it. Number two, interact and support. So when they post things about their family, when they post things about their job or what's going on in their life, like it, comment on it, and support them. It's one of the most important things. If I see any of our Automation Links team online and they're either going through something tough or something great, I am there to support them because that's all that matters, right? Um, business is business, but relationships are more important. So support your clients, good and bad. Number three, create a Facebook group. This is a great place to put all of your relationships in one place so you can continue communicating with them as a business owner. So when a new prospect or somebody that might be interested in your business comes into the group, they see that you're helping all these people, you're supporting them, they're supporting you back. They're going to feel like they're part of that community and they're going to want to join uh, the group and then also join your business when they're ready. Uh, number four, care, don't sell. So people know the difference. I'm going to set this down. Uh, people see the difference if you care and you don't sell. And that's the number one thing online. So I care about you. I'm helping you right now. I want to make it all about you. Please make it relationship first online. I'm not selling any of my services. I'm only worried about you being successful by creating real relationships online. So that needs to be your mentality. When you're going to Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, your website, make it all about your client. Provide as much value as you can just like you would face to face. When you're working with a client one-on-one, -on -one, talking to them, you're not selling, 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 you're helping them. So turn around and do that exact same thing online so people know you care, you'll be there for them. And then at the end, then you can sell a product. Like for me, during all my videos, I'm providing value and I want you to take this. Then I want you to create a link on your website or somewhere people can go so when they are ready to buy or work with you, they just click on a link and they're right there. They're ready to check out on the checkout page. So if you're watching this and I brought you any value, our social sales page is a great place to start. I'll post the link 
above or below this video. So all you have to do is click on it. You can get started with me right away. But if you're not ready yet and we don't have a good enough relationship yet, don't worry about that. At least you know when you are ready where that link will be. So I hope you guys uh, start creating real relationships online. Of course, ask me if you need any help. I will help you at no cost. Relationship first mentality online and social media. Thanks again for watching. Please subscribe and I hope you guys have a great day.